This is Dr. Lee of KB Laboratories in Singapore, and he's on a recycling mission with a difference. That's right, he's after that golden shower known as urine. The rest of the good people of Singapore are pushing the green envelope by reusing their old paper bottles and boxes. Dr. Lee is going one stage further by turning his wee wee into environmentally friendly electricity with his new P battery. Knocked together from odds and ends and assembled with a laminator from the stationary cupboard, his prototype takes green issues right into the yellow spectrum. My battery is disposable, and it works by using P. Like an ordinary battery, Dr. Lee's battery is basically a bath of iron-rich liquid, in this case, urine, in which two differing metals are placed. One of these is called the negative terminal, and the other the positive terminal. When these two terminals are joined by a wire, negatively charged ions in the urine lose their electrons, which flow towards the positive terminal. And the result is electricity. In Dr. Lee's battery, the two plates are separated by a thin piece of absorbent material. All you have to do to power it up is to stick in a drop of iron-rich urine. And a few seconds later, two milliwatts of electricity begin to flow enough to power this little gizmo for around 90 minutes. Mildly impressive, but not exactly useful. So we wanted to know if his yellow energy could power a football stadium for a full game. Here in this stadium, there are four large floodlights, which require 40 kilowatts. My battery can produce two milliwatts, so for all this light, we'd need 80 million of my batteries. 80 million batteries. Wow! 80 million batteries. That's a bladder load from about 80,000 people, or about four times the capacity of this stadium. So perhaps football is not the best use for Dr. Lee's battery. To be fair, it was never his idea. His hope is that his P battery will be able to power a small credit card sized computer that can check the urine itself for diseases. A kind of P powered pathology lab. You put a drop of P in here and the P activates a battery and the electricity generated by the battery enables the biosensor to detect the disease in the urine. And it could be used to detect diseases such as diabetes, malaria and possibly even HIV. But Dr Lee has bigger ideas. Plenty of other bodily substances have magic ions in them. What about a body odour tester that needs no batteries? Or a self-powering snot tester to tell you if you're getting a cold. And what about the other end? There are plenty of nasties that need to be tested down there. 